Okay, we're back and now we're looking at the remaining tasks for the Risk Discussion Group CRM. We need to handle annual membership. We have got fields for start date and end date, but we don't have any automation associated with that. So we have annual pass start date and then annual pass end date. That's great. So we can tick that one off. But we need a reminder when the annual pass will expire. Let's do that. We're going to set up automation workflow rules. Go to members and you'll pass about to expire. Do it on a date time. And we will do it 350 days after the start date, 15 days before the end date. Do it at 9am hmm and it's not gonna, gonna let us do that we might have to do some refactoring right now we have end date set up as a formula field it's looking like we're gonna have to make it a regular field let's begin with that remove this one Put in annual pass and date. Okay. Now, what we need to do before we can alert them to the expiry, we'll need to make sure that the end date field is kept up to date. So we'll do it on a field update. When the start date is changed, we are going to I think we can just do a field update for this one. Nah, we'll do a custom function. Okay, to get the start date, we'll simply do member record dot get what was it annual pass start date. And then we're going to put start date dot to date dot add year. And then we need to convert it to a string. And then we're going to update. Check the 
think that's working properly. Let's set a start date for 4th of July. Didn't like it. Let's check what's going on. Setting annual pass and date. But it's not appearing there. Interesting. Ah, because we need to format the date. Perfect. Leave off the two string. Okay, we have that done. Now let's go back and create our rule. Remember when annual pass is about to expire. Do it two weeks before at 9 a.m. Send them an email. And we'll set up a template. Discussion group and your pass is about to expire. And then we're going to put in the name, press hash to bring up that reference field. Your annual pass will expire on now's a great time to lock in your continuing professional development by signing up for another 12 months worth. You can Sign up for the next year by emailing us at riskdiscussiongroup at 
Maybe not on call. All the best. RDG team. Perfect. We'll just put it in public templates for now. And then we'll refresh. We'll use that one. Probably want to change the from address. But that's all good. All right, we can tick that one off. The other thing that we should do as well is show them in their profile how many events they've attended. Let's do that by making another workflow. But this time it is going to be on the attendance record. Create. We'll do it on field update on attended. Is true. What we'll do again, we'll use a custom function. And same as last time, custom module one. Get the current attendance count. Number of events attended. Need to convert it into a number first. Note I have to convert it to string when I'm doing the update because it wants a, a string version of the ID rather than an int. Just a little idiosyncrasy. Alright, let's check that, that works. was zero, now it's one. And if I run it again, it should be two. 
perfect. Does the job. <laughs> Don't know what it's talking about there. Since I can only have one, but I've only got one. Sometimes it does weird stuff. Start again. Some reason got two there. Let's check that code is correct. Yep, looks good. All right. Update number of events attended. We can tick off that almost. Let's build a quick report. We will do a member report. Put in member name, the number of events attended. into member reports. Perfect. Can take that one off.